CRIEnglish.com, connecting China with the world. Joe Benley is an art lover. He studies painting as a hobby. I came here to learn more skills, enjoy the atmosphere, and try to buy something good that really interests me. This is a preview of a Chinese art sale. It's organized by Poly Auction, one of China's top auction houses. It's a chance for potential buyers to examine paintings they might want to bid for later. Over recent years, the Chinese art market has been doing very nicely. In 2011, China overtook the U.S. to become the biggest art market in the world. Art sales in China that year totaled 18 billion dollars, accounting for 30 percent of the global market. All that means, auctions in China are getting bigger. So there are 5,200 pieces of works being sold at this auction. Of course, there's not enough room to display everything. So if you're interested in buying, you need to look at some books like this. This auction is selling paintings, ceramics, and calligraphy. 这里面呢，就是这个里面像上面他写了那个白石山翁。Yin Huajie is the manager of Poly Auction. He says there's a strong demand for Chinese art. The art market here has great potential. After satisfying basic needs like food and clothing, a class of newly rich Chinese has formed and is driving interest in traditional Chinese art. All this means a greater range of artworks now being collected, and I think the market here has seen record levels of prices and popularity. All this has led many to look closely at buying art as a form of investment. Ah, because China has many artists, many art works have been sold. Because some Chinese artworks are now worth millions of dollars, I feel prices are growing ever faster. If you collect a really good piece, then it will definitely go up in value. Regarding buying art as an investment, it's really bad if a piece can't increase 30% in value per year. If you find an artwork that goes up 100 or even 200% per year, then you're a great collector. I store my paintings and don't show them to everyone because of insurance issues. One piece could cost up to ten million dollars, so my collection is kept in a secret location. It's like looking after treasure. There are several tricks you can use in the auction. For example, if there's one piece you really want to buy, you should raise the bidding price as little as possible. Slow down. Think carefully and pretend you're not too desperate to get the item. It's impossible to tell whether bidders at this auction are here for a love of art or just to make money. Well, I'd like to be optimistic enough to say that there are people who, who, when they see something very beautiful and very rare,、uh, will feel that price is no object. But the truth is, auction is also a kind of competitive sport. So competitive that turnover at Poly Auction topped two billion dollars in 2011, 20% higher than the year before, and in 2010, 16 Chinese artworks sold for over 15 million dollars. One of them was this piece of calligraphy by Song Dynasty artist Huang Tingjian. It was bought by an unknown buyer for 64 million dollars. Of course, art is bought by people across the world as a financial investment. But with prices rising at such a rate in China, some warn the art market here may be about to crash. And on top of these worries, there are many reports about corruption at Chinese auction houses. This is a problem that's been widely covered by China's domestic media. Do a search online, and you can find many stories about forgeries, artificially high prices, and bribery. One report by Forbes magazine suggests 80% of all art auctioned in China is fake. That's, that, that's a very horrifying statistic, and、uh, 
if, if that is true, then I think, you know, anybody who went into an auction knowing that would have to, you would, you would have to really bring an expert with you. I think the major collectors in the West, all of them, certainly the wealthy collectors, have advisors who, who, who check things out and, and who buy for them. But how widespread is corruption in the Chinese art market compared with other countries? I think it, it may be a little bit bigger because China has such a, what shall we say, distinguished tradition of making fakes. You, you know, when, when Marco Polo came to China, he noticed that there were artists doing fakes of Tang Dynasty art at the time. And in, in the Ming Dynasty, they were making fakes of, of Song Dynasty. And so, in, in one sense, I don't think, the, I, I don't think in, in Chinese tradition, this notion of fake is, is quite so, so, so negative as it would be seen in the West. In, in, in the West, a fake is, is selling something to make a profit, which is not what it pretends to be. In, in China, very often, a fake is one artist paying homage to an older artist, to, to an older artist, or a modern ceramicist paying homage to an older ceramicist. The question is, how is it being marketed? How is it being sold? We asked the organizer of this event, Poly Auctions, for reaction to these allegations about the art industry in China. They refused to comment. But visitors are certainly aware of the risks. I spent two million the year before last, but some of the stuff I bought was fake. So this time I really want to buy authentic work. These days many seal blocks are made by computer. Famous Chinese painter Tan Bo Hu said to judge whether a picture is authentic, you should examine its seal print. Those produced by computer-made seals have clear and well-defined edges, but man-made seal blocks are made from stone and leave a slightly rougher image. We can also tell the age by looking at the paper. But of course the problem of forgeries is not just limited to China. Because auction houses deal in such great volume, very often they will be selling works of art that are, that are fake. Uh, I don't think they intentionally set out to sell fake artworks, but, but in, in the West, you know, every once in a while you hear of a Rembrandt painting that is sold at auction and the buyer discovers only afterwards that the painting is not authentic. And, and so it means, it, it means that it's not enough simply to have money to buy works of art. You really have to have advisors and you have to do your homework. Critics say one of the main problems in the Chinese art market is the lack of a reliable system to tell if an artwork is genuine. The Chinese government is aware of this problem and the Ministry of Culture is currently consulting experts about strengthening the law in this area. Until then, the message is very much buyer beware.